What's going on, folks? Armin Hammer here, and uh, you know, in this in this time of questioning and uncertainty, it's been really stressful for a lot of people. I think for a lot of different ways um, and many different reasons, honestly. But uh, I actually have uh, I have a connection who is going to be able to help us all out. Um, it's a really special uh, opportunity that we all have here. And um, honestly, I don't even know why why I'm beating around the bush here. Uh, everybody, go ahead and, and just say hello to Internet Jesus. Hello. Praise be to my name. Armin, big fan. Glad to finally be on the channel. Yes, I am Internet Jesus. At last, the Internet has its own Jesus. The rest of the world has had a Messiah for far too long. But why not the Internet? And so I have risen to help you. All of you, not just you, Armin, but especially you, Armin, because I like you. Thank you. Through this Thank trying you, time. I myself I've, am quarantined right now. What about you? I I am also, like like many of us, I'm also quarantined. I'm actually a little surprised, Jesus, that you yourself are quarantined. Where are you right now? Yes, I, I live among the sick uh, and uh, Silver Lake, Los Angeles. <laughs> um, so I ain't going outside. Sunset Boulevard. It's just a petri dish out there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the, the frailties of the human body. It's it's <laughs> it's a challenge. I, I, right. I understand. We all have uh -huh. to live with it. It's just welcome welcome to the club. Honestly, absolutely. You know, uh, you seem you seem real relaxed, Jesus. Is I'm there, pretty chill. Is there like is there a lifestyle thing that we could all learn from? Is there like some op some choices? Some yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, raw food diet. A lot of grass fed meats. Push ups. <laughs> just just those that's all it takes it takes some a raw food diet and some push-ups yeah that's it and you'd be surprised you, how far you could get with just push-ups alone armin is the I'm meat surprised raw you don't as know well? that uh no the, yes yes it is <laughs> you just have to take down an elk with your face and then just kind of just sort of dead alive your way all the way through it well jesus i i i really appreciate uh <laughs> you taking the time although i can't imagine i mean what else what else is jesus doing with his time these days so little uh and that is what is why you know and i'm gonna just throw this out there um you know uh, apropos of nothing but if you had a really dumb idea for a podcast or a show based on you know you or one of your friends bearing a strange resemblance to the son of god then this would be the time when really time itself is cheap really the bottom fell out of the market on time is what i'm saying <laughs> it's so cheap you would say well that's a, such a dumb idea we would never actually take really what has been way too many hours planning this so far uh just because it's easter um and uh, uh but you know uh, this would be that time you know, generally, Jesus, I don't want to be a naysayer, but that's that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Uh, that's that's just a bad. No idea one would ever around. do that. No, no one would ever do that. That no one, not only would no one ever do that. I don't think anyone would want to watch or listen to that. Yay! Praise be to my name. So luckily, <laughs> since no one is doing that, and I happen to have the internet, Jesus. Jesus uh, of the whole the whole internet the entirety not, of the internet not portions of it even this the is bad listen parts. I can, I'm I can I can slip across firewalls so even the Chinese internet I'm there too and they need me right now <laughs> are you even on the dark web I'm on no that's the that's the internet equivalent of Hades <laughs> hell the bad place yeah you got that stay dark, away from that's that, that dark home. ass web you don't want to get caught in that web spider and flies <laughs> what types of what 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 is you know i'm assuming you're you know you don't look like a newborn so you clearly weren't born yesterday jesus you no. actually look I'm a in lot my, like, i'm in my i'm in my early 30s <laughs> you, you, look, you look a lot like a regular iconography of a uh, european jesus yeah, yeah. I the wonder, real jesus <laughs> what does what does a jesus in his the one from 30s, all the paintings that's i've right. seen all the paintings and they agree they agree hard that he looked a lot like this. What are you doing in Silver Lake? Um, <laughs> well, you know, I had to lo live among sinners and the sick. So where else to do this? To do my best work, I had to come to Los Angeles. And so, um, you know, it's an adjustment so far. I, pre I pre uh, previously resided in God's country, uh, Texas. Um, 
And, uh, you know, that synergized with my lifestyle pretty well. Um, people are a little laid back. People are chill. Different kind of folk out here, you know, uh, among the Los Angeles. Different kind. They, uh, they uh, as it turns out, don't like plagues. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> it's hard to believe. That hasn't changed Almost over all the past 2,000 years. Yeah. None of them like plagues, as it turns out. Yeah. How do you, uh, how do you, how do you, I'm assuming you pay for, you pay rent for the the, the house, the room? The, yeah, do you, I pay do you own rent a mansion? to live. Does, does listen, Jesus live? I, listen, I, 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 I am a carpenter. I am a humble man. All right. So I have humble surroundings. I literally live in a laundry room. <laughs> um, so a lot of my day is spent listening to uh, clothes being washed, clothes being dried, various sounds. Um, I do have a pretty sick balcony. I spend a lot of time out there. Um, but, you know, I, I have to remain connected to the people, you know, it, were I to use my powers to, you know, quickly affect the life in Malibu that so easily could be mine, then I feel like I would, it would disconnect me from, from the people. And, you know, that's my bread and butter. And you, so you actually make your money as a, as a working carpenter. I do. I work just like Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones, baby. You got it. Awesome. That's yeah. uh, Han Solo. That's good. It's good to know that the Son of God, risen among us from that movie, Solo, <laughs> is making a living with his hands. I yes. mean, it would have been such a shame if Internet Jesus just fell prey to every other Angelino's um, curse, which is just working on screenplays all day. No, that would be sad. It would be sad if his back hurt. It would be sad if that leather couch that's upstairs had a literal groove that he's kind of worried isn't going to come out uh, just from his ass being there working on screenplays all day long. That would be sad. Thankfully, that's not the situation I'm in. I am Internet Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it would just be really, it would be so depressing to think of Internet Jesus waiting for a callback from a manager after reading his latest script go fuck yourself on <laughs> i'll shut this shit down right away no no please do There's not been... cross that this is the line do not I'm, cross it I'm this making, is your warning i'm i'm making hypotheticals i'm just saying i'm just saying it would be i'm really glad that that's not the Listen, case that's all what I'm if saying. we put that out there and that resonates with someone and it spikes their anxiety in a way that they just can't deal with right now that's mm -hmm. a very that's Take a it through that's a very considerate thing internet jesus that's right. That's why I'm the fucking Messiah. I think about that shit, you, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's very son of God. You know, I, uh, I, I. Can, is speaking Dennis, of, is Dennis Hopper in frame? He's up here. I got a Dennis Hopper poster up there I, I from see, Easy Rider. I see that. I see that. He's 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 right in the corner up there. Uh, are you are you a fan? You're a fan of uh, Easy Rider. Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper is Jesus's spirit animal. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's we learned something new today. Is there? That's right. You know. I, God, I got to say for a guy who was born and raised 2000 years ago and uh, kind of came back into the world uh, over the past few decades, you seem to have collected yeah. a lot of stuff in your room. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, what is the modern analog of the monastic lifestyle that I led back in the day? It's obviously spending a lot of time chilling out, listening to vinyl records and pursuing a DJ career. And, you know, I write songs. I do a little acting, you know, um, you know. So if you like know anyone who's looking for someone, let me know. But no, I spend a lot of my days uh, just kind of chilling out, grooving out to tunes, um, you know, uh, chilling out with push ups, you know. <laughs> push-ups really enhance the, uh, yeah. the experience no, of listening of to music in your place. And yeah, uh, and sort of meditating on life and solving the deeper questions uh, that are plaguing man and the questions about plagues that are plaguing man, which I think we're going to get to today, aren't we? We, we are. You're 100% right. We are. We, uh, uh, I, 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 I have a few questions for you from uh, various people among the populace. Um, yes. You know, it's, it's definitely not representative of the entire populace. Uh, because they're all white people, mm -hmm. uh, and I know that you love all mm -hmm. creeds and colors and races uh, mm. and nationalities. So we'll yes. do a better job. Again, the whole internet. That's right. The entirety. And of the the internet. internet represents everyone equally and without malice ever. 
I I I don't know if I believe that to be true, but but you know what, Jesus, uh, it is something just to aspire don't look, to. Don't look into that. Just accept it. It sounds good, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess I have I have a handful of questions from people. And well, well, you haven't seen them, so you don't know what they're they're all about. You're gonna. I don't. I don't even know who's asking. You're gonna these give questions. them. You're gonna give them uh, really solid internet Jesusy answers. Uh, I guess my first my my question though. And, and during these video questions, because you know. Internet Jesus's laptop is on a stack of LaCroix and he might or maybe nearsighted. He will put on glasses briefly, but that doesn't mean he's not Internet Jesus just because he's wearing these glasses that he doesn't actually need. No, it's you know, it makes you it makes it more relatable uh, as a yeah. human being to think, man, you know what? Maybe even Jesus could use Needs glasses, some glasses. That's right. Go ahead. Arm. I was going to say the, the, the question that I have and I'm going to go ahead and just take this moment because. You know, you're on my Zoom, so you know we we're here, we're connected. Uh, That's right. My question is, what the fuck? This whole coronavirus fuck, man? thing, man. You you yeah. potentially have control over this. Why are you doing this to people? No, man. Uh, that's the thing is that like this isn't like this was like made in a lab by the government man <laughs> this has nothing to do with nature man like this was made in a lab by trump so that he could look like a big hero and get reelected and fucking cover up the fact that he is behind 9-11 damn internet jesus is very much a, a reflection of the internet right there yeah that was great man. that was uh, the whole internet that was the that that <laughs> i think that sampled just about every corner of the internet it did i tried to round all the bases again the whole internet all right so i guess we should just get into <laughs> some questions uh internet jesus before uh we uh, let's do we it go any further here mm. hold on let me put on my specs oh my god that's so much better <laughs> Here we go, Jesus. Here's the first question we got for you. Internet Jesus, right. in this time of COVID-19, is it inappropriate to ask for anal after a bike ride? I guess people are going on a lot more bike rides. Uh, and I've, I've heard that especially for people over the age of 60, that's one of the few recommended exercises that they're actually, or activities that are still allowed to do. Where did I learn this? From following Arnold Schwarzenegger on Instagram. I follow Arnold. He, you know, he's, and by the way, Arnold he is on fire during COVID-19, okay? He is giving you workout tips. He is giving you advice. And one of the pieces of advice, uh, he just rolls up. Uh, Armin always has, uh, Arnold always has, has a, uh, uh, someone else shooting all of his Instagram videos. He rolls up on a bike, sunglasses, helmet, like a windbreaker on, just looking like a silver fox beard. And he uh, tells everyone to go on bike rides during this quarantine. And then like yesterday, he posts like a skit with his daughter where he's like forcing her to like polish all of his boots. And she's like, pretending like she's like super not into it and uh and so it's like i i really hope arnold just sticks with this all the way through so here's my advice based on what arnold has told me completely inappropriate to ask for anal if you're under the age of 60 but if you're like 60 to 90 <laughs> just it's your fucking world <laughs> go nuts then it's okay. It's tops because you have so few activities left besides bike rides. Um, where else are you going to fit in your anal? That is, uh, that's really enlightening. That really helps, I think, a lot. Jesus. Good. Uh, it's going to help a lot of people, and that's why we're doing this, Armin. We're gonna, um, we're gonna go ahead and keep the theme uh, alive, and. Uh, Oh Jesus Christ! Are they all anal questions? They, they, I Christ. swear, I swear. These are these these are. Listen, it may not be representative of the entire human population, but it certainly is representative of the types of questions that everyone wants to ask <laughs> the, the Jesus of the internet. The apparently, whole internet. apparently, this is what I bring out to people. Again, the whole internet. You get it. <laughs> Can be spelled two ways. You fucking sassy pants. <laughs> All right, so uh, so our next question here uh, kind of keeps the theme of butt stuff going, um, mm -hmm. but Jesus, I think I think uh, I think you are as a carpenter maybe 
uh, gonna have a hard time answering this one. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm working <laughs> at home like everybody else right now, and mm-hmm. I notice a real big difference between working at home and working at the office. And that's don't touch your face. Uh, namely, when I go to the bathroom to take a shit, I don't get that kind of sanctuary feeling that I was getting at the office. You know, where I kind of my anxiety mm-hmm. goes down and I have uh, moments of uh, me time. I'm not getting that. Um, shitting at home and mm. wondering if you had any any thoughts on how to get myself back there this man i think this man needs a lot of help from me uh he is familiar to me as all my children are and this particular chinless man um uh he uh, he needs a break and i get the sense that you know maybe life has really stepped on him in that little apartment in oakland over the last four years since he left austin texas and uh, he needs he needs that kind of sanctuary. He needs that kind of release. And how is he going to do that? Well, the human ear, the human nose, many of our senses recognize contrast before anything else. You know, color contrast, very important to cinema. Audio contrast, loud, quiet, loud. That's, you know, the Pixies. That's fucking Nirvana, man. Um, you know, there's contrast is a really big thing. So how, Why? Let's answer that question first. Why was that turlet that he had at work uh, a sanctuary for him? It's because work sucked really hard. That was his only place. The only so you know he wasn't out there in the fucking cruel panopticon of some shitty startup that he moved uh, you know up there and then they treated him like garbage. And come on, Richard moved down to sunny Los Angeles. Um, Not that. Like then he would go and he would go into his little sanctuary, a womb, if you will. So what he needs to do is make the rest of his apartment that isn't his bathroom feel sketchy and threatening, uh, feel like his privacy is constantly being invaded. Put a lot of easily hackable webcams around. And now when really our most vulnerable citizens are so very, very vulnerable, invite some odd homeless people from that, you know, uh, from that tent city that's like a block away from your place under that bridge, Richard. Um, invite them in to just sort of hang out on your couch, you know, like wash themselves in your sink. And I promise you, two or three days of that, and that bathroom is going to feel like a sanctuary again, yeah. provided the hobos don't get that's, in. That's that's really solid advice, Internet Jesus. That's why I am the here. The idea is, is, if I'm understanding it, is to make everything around you so unsettling and uncomfortable that the only place mm-hmm. that you could possibly be comfortable is behind the locked doors yes. while sitting on a toilet. Wow. Exactly. Contrast, That's Armin. That's powerful stuff. Yes. All right, we got, we got some more. We got some more questions. Yay. Praise be to my name. Internet Jesus. It's Catherine. <laughs> you knew that. Um... So what's the maximum amount of times in a day I can masturbate and still get into heaven? Good. Uh, I was hoping someone was going to ask me this question Um, uh, because I don't have a good answer. And the reason I don't have a good answer is there is no maximum number of times. The thing is, yeah, it's like the balance, what we get, like masturbation, it's, it's, it's great. It's a fun thing to do, but what we, we we don't accrue any kind of moral penalty for masturbating we just get like really sleepy and don't like accomplish shit around the house so the question is you know it, and really where does it, where does that end up where's the gutter where all that ends up armin it's the bottom line it's your bank account okay because if you're wanking it all day eventually it's going to have an impact on you know he's like you're not going to be able to hold down a job you're going to get your credit card stolen from weird websites, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about, Armin. Uh, and, uh, and that's going to have an impact. It's going to have an impact on your bottom line. So here's my question. It's not, you shouldn't be asking yourself how many times can I masturbate and still get into heaven? You should be asking yourself like, you know, what's my cash situation? Like, like if you're doing okay, you can just, just fucking go to town But if like in this lean, lean time, if you're not doing okay, you know, I would say fucking just stop whacking it. Do something, you know, like start a a ridiculous podcast just because one of you happens to have like a superficial resemblance to a messiah. I love it. That's a great idea. Uh, What I'm hearing you say, if I can read between the lines, Jesus, don't let me don't let me put words in your mouth is that your 
masturbatory potential is limited by, you know, how it's going to have a financial impact on your world. Yeah. So therefore, if you could somehow make money masturbating all day, you're actually being grossly positive in your actions. I would say that if you can find a way to to make money by masturbating all day, and you're a guy, then you are Jesus. <laughs> you are the new Messiah. I mean, because I just I can't figure that one out. You know, for the life uh, of me, Armin, I just I, and God and I've and I've turned it over in my mind a couple times. Internet Jesus, you know, if I've you, had lean years. I've had you, lean years. You know, I've had lean you start years, up Armin. A- not the, not that not these salad days we're in now, Armin. If you start up an OnlyFans <laughs> internet, Jesus, uh, I think uh-huh. I think we could put that hypothesis yes. to the test. My OnlyFans would just be me, like getting nailed, like doing like bo- doing bongos to like heavy metal songs, but on a butt. Whose butt? TBD. Just a butt. That's so what it would be. Butt every time. Just like you know, "Hallowed Be Thy Name" by Iron Maiden. Fucking paranoid by Black Sabbath, just twelve ninety five. I don't know what OnlyFans costs. I don't know. What does I think it cost? You set Armin? your own price. You know, <laughs> don't don't pretend like you don't know, Armin. I, I get, perv, I get. Uh, you fucking weird pervy questions you're giving me about poop. Oh, and you want more? Okay, we got more. We got more. We no. Got more. Oh god, I, gotta I have two more questions back. for you, Jesus. Put oh. your glasses back on. Oh, crackers. I don't need them. You just, you just look you look really professional while you're wearing them. That's important. I look really cool with them on. Yeah, quick question here. Daughter's in first grade. She's had uh, remote learning every day. How much damage am I doing if she does none of that work and kind of comes up with her own structure, if you will? Thanks. I think you're doing a great job. And the reason I say this is this. You know, school is fine, you know, it's, it, but it educates you on, I would say, uh, a delimited dimension of the totality of what it is to be a human being. Uh, it focuses more on the quantitative aspects of life. You know, you, you're adding stuff, you're filling in A, Bs, and Cs, you're remembering who is France. You know, you're doing a bunch of stuff, you know. Um, but the thing is, like, there's other aspects to life, the kind of aspects you, you know, you discover later. You know, after the world has kind of stepped on your soul, because, for instance, you know, a quarantine broke out two weeks after you moved to Los Angeles, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's move past it. But the kind of things you discover when you take the mushrooms that you hid in your guitar case um, is that there's other dimensions to life. You know, it's like there's there's emotions. Things have an emotional logic, like sometimes a cruel, cruel irony, like moving to Los Angeles two weeks before the whole quarantine set in, Armin. A cruel irony, but there are other colors, you know, like pink is nice. I don't know. Uh, people are happy. Uh, but the point is, right now, your, your, your children, they're, 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 they're exploring an emotional space. They're getting a, an emotional education. Uh, and that's going to save them a lot of time later on, just being in a dorm room, smoking pot. Uh, listening to Pink Floyd. They're doing that work now. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Everybody's got to do it sometime. But the thing is, they got to make up that math stuff because just you need that for money because uh, they're going to fucking run out of it if you don't learn that. So they got to learn that at some point. So just that's, make sure that's they learn a, that. Man, you were just, you're on fire right now, Jesus. You're killing it. You're really. I am. I'm just, that's what I, I'm an, that's why I'm here. That's why I rose during That's amazing. this period. Okay, so uh, you know we were gonna finish off with that one, but ah. I actually got an emergency question in. Last second emergency question, and uh, are they under fire was, uh, currently? It was, it's it's from someone who's already asked a question. You'll see, and I think you'll understand why it's an emergency in a second here. So I've heard of corn. But um, should I be seeing full pepperoni slices in the toilet after I shit? Ah, you see, I. Oh, but the thing is, I because I'm Internet Jesus, I can see the problem behind the problem, you know. So I'm gonna reach out. <laughs> Dogs, huh? 
I'm gonna, so I'm going to reach out and uh, praise be to these dogs. Yay, Bowie, with your big, dumb fucking head. Who is it? It's, Which one is it? Right now, it's Sunny. They're all barking because uh, Catherine just got home. Oh, Catherine got home. Not the same Catherine from that question that we just got. Totally, ago. totally, definitely the same Catherine. But yep. I just know the names of all of your dogs. Sunny being the best of the dogs, purely because I, again, the whole internet. There's a lot of your dogs on the fucking internet. Like fucking just like dial it back a little bit. All right? Do you think there's too many of uh, my dogs on the internet? Too much. Come on, too much, Jesus. Man. What there's the a fuck? Limit. There's a limit. As the more dogs, the more of your dogs, the less of other dogs. I'm going to disagree like that. with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> it's a zero-sum game, just the dog portion of the internet. I don't know why. I've just decided to be sticky like that. What were we talking about? We were again? talking about um, uh, your 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 follower, Richard, yeah, yeah. Uh, shitting out whole pepperoni slices and wondering that's if right. that's an emergency. And I can see the problem behind the problem here. And the problem behind the problem is... How is he eating the pizza? I think that's obvious. Mechanically, if he's masticating properly, he's not going to see whole pepperoni slices in there. So I know, I intuit, my intuitions tell me, being the Messiah, that uh, he's, he's, he's doing what we call a, uh, an Italian cinnamon roll, which is he's rolling the pizza up, crust and first, and then just, like, just he's just shoving that shit just like a Twinkie, but like a Twinkie you don't swallow, but just like fucking force down your throat with your fingers. That's what he's doing. And I, I, and I know, because again, I know all of my children that that's how Richard, it's just how Richard likes to eat pizza. Um, you know? And so you just stop, just bite and chew. It's definitely a better way to eat pizza. Uh, that's... you're going to taste it. You're going to taste it a lot more and all that shit's delicious. It's like my favorite thing that I created. That's amazing. Um, pizza. I hope, uh, I hope these, these answers have been helpful. Uh, uh, internet Jesus. I, I don't know how to thank thee. um, Praise be, <laughs> praise be unto your name, Internet Jesus. Yes. And oh, by the way, and just to let everyone else know, you know, this is a crazy experiment, this Internet Jesus. But if anyone else has any questions for Internet Jesus, they should definitely, definitely send them to Armin on Instagram, don't you think? And then maybe if we get any good ones, we'll come back and I will rise again. Isn't that right, Armin? That's absolutely correct. If anybody can come up with any good uh, questions for Internet Jesus, we can't do this all the time because internet Jesus, like the rest of us is very busy. Um, and so, you know, it, it's tough. It's really tough to get a connection with, uh, quite literally God. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But if you do want to connect literally with God, I would suggest following at internet Jesus four twenty <laughs> on Instagram. Why those numbers? Yes, Jesus? Yeah, that's, that's, because I did, I like to do 420 push-ups every day, and that's what keeps me zen is those 420 push-ups. So follow Internet G. I, I did so many push-ups for this podcast. Um, I uh, uh, so follow Internet Jesus 420. It's a real Instagram account, and I'm going to be just providing advice to the world through that. So that's a conduit, a portal, if you will. Uh, a, a string between two tin cans and with the profane on one end and the divine at the other. And the, the tin cans are Instagram. Yep, that's it. Instagram would be the thing. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. At Internet Jesus 420. Fantastic. And uh, I guess if you have any questions for Internet Jesus, you can send them to me. He's too busy. Uh, you yeah, should send them directly to, to at Arm and Hammer TV. Thank you, Internet Jesus. Um, I hope that you were able to bring a little bit of calming, uh, maybe some skunk flavored and scented uh, emotional, you know, mm -hmm. balance to to the world. Kind of like a kind of like piney and herbal. Yeah, piney and piney herbal, and herbal. like more like myrcene and you know that sort of thing. Yeah, that's where I am right now. Yeah, I pr good for the colder temperatures. It's good. It's it's very it's very good. It's good for the entire world. <laughs> it's good for the entire world. It is. <laughs> 